Welcome to a Big Show Entertainment Network special event. Uh, I'm your man, Super Dave Rains. I'm here with Nancy Blizzard, the host of the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show. And we're here tonight, well, actually this afternoon and tonight, for a very, very, very special fashion show, the Paper Fashion Show, right here in uh, Denver at the Hangar over in uh, Stapleton. Is that correct? Or Yeah, pretty much so. So, <laughs> Nancy, um, I'm going to throw it to you now. What are we expecting to see tonight? Oh, my goodness. This is quite a show. This is the 15th year. The designers are amazing. Everything is made out of paper. You can't believe what you're going to, be, you're going to see tonight. It is, it's, it's a fabulous, fabulous fashion show. The best part of it is that the proceeds go to Downtown Visual Arts Center, an art program for after-school kids. That's the best part about it. I mean, you get, uh, you get to enjoy wonderful fashion, and the proceeds go to a great organization supporting our community. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, I want to give a special thanks to uh, Michael and to everyone, the entire team on the uh, paper fashion show team. Of course, Big Show Q Branch, Chase and Andrew for being here. Without them, we don't work. Uh, as you know, we have uh, the network has expanded, so we've added you. We've added Generally Nerdy. We have six shows now on the network. We started with one, uh, then had three for a long time, and then we're working on a very special show that will be airing September 7th with Native Hotel. So, uh, Nancy, it's all on you. I'm going to be in the background <laughs> tonight and this evening, so uh, I'm sure you're going to be awesome. So Nancy Blizzard, the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show with Big Show Entertainment Network's coverage of the paper fashion show. And I'm really excited to see this because some of the dresses and garments are, if you, I guess I can call them garments, right? Yes. Um, you, I can't believe they're paper. I'm like stunned. So... Uh, Nancy, have a great time tonight, and uh, we'll see you a little bit later. Hi, we are backstage with Nicole from the design team. I am so excited. Um, Nicole, tell me about your design and how you got inspired to do it. Oh, okay. So we have the Queen of the Fairies, and we were inspired actually by Meow Wolf. So the, our, my co-designer Susie um, has been to, to uh, Meow Wolf and loves it. And so that plus this plus our model Peyton, it just kind of all came together. And then we have another designer who's out there. Her name's Chrissy, who did our hair. And it's it's this is what happens when like friends get together and do something. It it just kind of sounds amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. How do you feel right now? I am so excited, super duper excited. Like so excited. Ah! <laughs> all this work that you put into it, all this effort and and here's the big moment. Yeah, yeah. So this is we've done this a number of years, but I think this year has been even more fun because I moved to Florida and and Susie's here in Colorado. So this gave us an extra excuse to be able to travel here, for me to travel here and be together with her and then my daughter Peyton. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to see your design on the runway. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I have Lainey. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Lainey, tell me how you got inspired to make this beautiful garment. Okay. Um, we knew that this was going to be in a hangar, and so Karen and I talked through all the different things that are flight without wings and came up with nose cone art from World War II airplanes. So we took the pinup and the nose cone art and put it together into a single outfit. <laughs> oh my goodness, Karen, this is incredible. I, I saw this earlier when she was practicing. Tell me how you got inspired to do this. Well, uh, I've been doing this for 10 years. It's my 10th, 10th year making the paper dresses. And so it's just, you know, trying to come up with a theme every year and um, that I just love the pinup art that's in the World War II planes and thought that it was a really neat concept for a dress. So that's where we went with it. <laughs> and we did everything from like a bomb purse to 
These are aviator glasses cut from paper. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, how difficult is it to work with paper? It's very difficult. So it doesn't work like fabric at all. Um, so a lot of times you either have to work with it like paper mache or sculpt it, fold it, um, sew it, glue it. You know, it's, it's not a traditional way of making a garment, um, but I like the challenge of that too. So, yeah. <laughs> Lainey, I'm just so impressed by this. How do you feel about working with paper? Um, paper, it's, I love paper, so I love working with it. This is a really fun challenge because we, this year, decided to make a shirt out of paper that seemed like a shirt, so it's not woven, it's not broken into smaller pieces, it's actually big pieces of paper turned into a shirt, which is really, it's a fun challenge. Paper is really a lot of fun to work with. Hi, this is Nancy again, and my guest is Eileen O'Brien. Tell me about your role here at the Paper Fashion Show, Eileen. Sure. Um, so I am a technical judge. This will be my third year doing that. But I am also the wrangler of all the judges. So we have two technical judges and seven gen generic judges. We also have two judges that are from DAVA. DAVA is the Downtown Aurora Visual Arts uh, Organization. And all the money made for, from the Paper Fashion Show goes to them. And so we have two students who actually judge the DAVA students themselves, so it's really kind of neat, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, how do you become qualified for a judge? Well, um, I've been on the board of the paper of actually the, uh, it's called the, um, the One Club for Creativity, Denver One Club for Creativity. Uh, it's just actually gotten that name. It used to be the Art Directors Club of Denver. Same thing, just different name. So I've been on the board for about four years. And so over the years, I've learned how to um, basically, uh, you know, judge these particular fashions, which were made completely out of paper. So it's very unique. And I also have a background in film and television and I've done some fashion in my life so a lot of the people that are the the judges in terms of the generic judges which I'm not are in the fashion world um, they are f actually um, makers themselves they are fashion makers themselves or they are in some some part of the industry and so that's how they qualify oh my gosh that's incredible what kind of changes over the years have you seen with the paper fashion show They've just gotten more and more amazing, just amazing. So the, the criteria for judging is uh, originality, and then the second is creative complexity. The complexity every year gets more and more amazing. I mean, each piece has got more and more pieces to, that are, you know, that it's made of. I mean, it, the complexity has just grown every year. It's just amazing. Wait till you see them. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Hi, this is Nancy again, and my guest is Sadius. She is the master of ceremonies today for the Paper Fashion Show. Yes, I'm so excited. It's a huge crowd out here tonight, and definitely more than I was expecting to see. I think they're actually trying to get more chairs into the venue as we speak because they have to sh shorten this line because it's intense outside right now. It's definitely the biggest show I've seen yet. <laughs> is this your first time being the Master of Ceremonies? This is my first time being the Master of Ceremonies for Paper Fashion Show. So uh, from what I was told, this is actually the biggest show yet as far as in designers. They've got over 50 designers tonight that'll be walking on the line. So it's definitely something that they have not seen before. The creativity levels are going to be new era. I'm so excited. Oh, I know. I'm so glad you're here. That's wonderful. What a great opportunity. What, uh, you, what inspired you to be a part of the show? Well, you know, I'm a radio personality myself, and so uh, being able to do fashion shows really masters your craft as far as in communicating and talking because everything's on the go, and you have to kind of stay prepared. So I love to do shows like this, especially in the community of Denver, because it just makes you stay on top of your game, and especially with the designs. Again, everything tonight is made out of paper, and I just feel like it's something for the community that they haven't seen here in Denver, and I wanted to be one of the first people to kind of introduce and bring something so big here. How do you get the audience all pumped up? I think 
Well, first we start with the free wine and alcohol that's happening right now, as you can see in the crowd. But I think that's the first step. But I think the energy that we have, my DJ who will be on the turntables tonight has amazing energy. And I think keeping that kind of, uh, that energy hyped for the crowd is what really helps it out. That's wonderful. And a great MC. Someone who's like, hey, you guys are in for a great show, right? And getting them going. Oh my God. I just, I think that really helps to set the tone. And again, there's lights, there's camera, and whenever that's happening, I think the crowd will be in awe on themselves. And from what it looks like, they look like they're ready to have a good time. So I'm excited. <laughs> I know you sound like you're ready too, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, a great, it's going to be a great show. And thank you so much for being a part of it and taking time out of your day to be here today. Yeah. Thank you so much for actually getting a chance to talk to me. I really appreciate it. It's going to be an amazing show. And I hope you get an awe tonight by some of the designs. Because I saw a peek backstage. And let me tell you, it's not something I can fit into right now. But it might be the perfect fit for you. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the 2019 Paper Fashion Show. Hope you're having a fantastic evening so far. My name is Kara Taylor, and I am the president of the One Club for Creativity Denver Chapel. I am very honored to be with you tonight to celebrate the 15th annual Paper Fashion Show. This is our second largest show in history. We have 48 teams participating, 12 of which are students. While most of the teams are from Colorado, this year we have competitors from Arizona, Texas, New Jersey, and half of one team is here all the way from Germany. And just so you all realize how much time these designers have invested, the average time spent on a fashion is in between 200 and 300 hours. Thank you to all the designers for your passion, your energy, and for sharing your creativity with us tonight. Let's give them a massive round of applause.
Paper Fashion Show here in Denver, and I have a special guest here, Jenea. Jenea, what is your role here at the Paper Fashion Show? So I am the lead makeup artist. I help pretty much get sponsors, organize the whole day for the girls, find makeup artists, and I do makeup as well when I get a chance, you know. I try and squeeze some in because I still like to do it and not just organize it, but... Yeah, I try and get everyone together, let everyone, you know, kind of show off their artistic skills. You get so many different looks with this show, so it's pretty fun. You challenge yourself, you get to do stuff way out of your comfort zone, um, and it gives all the other makeup artists a chance to get stuff for their portfolio, get practice, obviously meet everyone for all these other shows, and it just grows everyone's clientele, as well as just being able to do an event that's good for our whole community of Denver, so it's exciting. I've been doing it for about, I want to say three or four years now, so it's been a yearly thing for me and I wouldn't change it. How do you get people to volunteer their time and their resources to help? Well, now in this era, um, Instagram is everything. So I find artists on Instagram, I put stuff on my Instagram looking for people, Facebook, Twitter, anything that refers makeup artist to me or I find them myself Um, it's a big community here in Denver there's a lot of girls who are really into it do a lot of personal makeup do stuff at Mac stores or Sephora so it's a big community and I feel like everyone kind of gets to know each other really quick and really well when we do events like this and get everyone together and it's really empowering for them we all get to support each other it's not a competition it's just an uplifting event all around so I, I like to be a part of it and how do you feel that hair and makeup adds to the costumes and to the rest of the outfit. I think it's kind of like the icing on a cake, you know, it ties everything together. The inside is all good and then you need stuff on the outside. You need to have hair and makeup that goes with that dress that really brings the designer's, you know, idea to life. So when they bring us their inspiration pictures or tell us what they want, you know, we really try and do our best to meet their expectations, if not go above. Oh my gosh, well thank you so much for your time today and your contribution to this show. It means a lot. So we uh, just finished watching, or actually witnessing, the uh, 15th paper fashion show, and it was spectacular. Uh, earlier, we got to meet uh, Yaya Girl, who is MC in the event. Andrew, what did you think? What did you see from your perspective as our chief engineer of Big Show Q Branch? And I saw you all around the stage, and it was really awesome. Uh, I was just kind of pleased that I could just rest and I didn't have to work. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. But what did you think? Uh, it was just uh, amazing. Like I, said, I was all around, getting, trying to get all the angles. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that comes through. But yeah, just like the work that went into this, and they were saying like some like eighth graders were making yes. some of this stuff, which is incredible. That, but though the music, the production of it all, and you can tell they've been doing it for 15 years because it all came together uh, beautifully. Right. But yeah, no, just like the artistry and the, the talent of these people, it really blew me away. It was pretty incredible. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, folks, we're talking, you know, grade schoolers here, sixth, seventh, eighth graders making dresses that some of them look like you could actually wear, even though they're made of paper. I mean, they, they looked, you know, a few of them looked real, like they were real material. What did you think? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they... They have to do something like there has to be some like high quality stuff because yeah some were like flowing in weird ways or like yeah. staying like in shapes like I don't know what they did but it was a, you can tell a lot of work they were saying like 200 300 hours go into making yeah. these designs yeah, and so that's it. yeah I yeah. believe it 100 yeah folks you can't make that with some paper and some Elmer's glue I guarantee you but uh, what a night tonight we're so looking forward to covering this event every year now so we're coming in on 15 I wish we could have came in on number one but I want to send a very special thank you to uh, Ya Girl uh, Michael who uh, ran this show I know so many people volunteered but I I just want to say thank you for inviting Big Show Entertainment Network Uh, The Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show, hosted by Nancy Blizzard, 
to cover the paper fashion show. We've had a fantastic time. We cannot wait to next year. So we're getting pretty good at these fashion shows. I think we've done yeah. three inside of six months. Right? Yeah. yeah. They're becoming so. our, our new bread and butter. Yeah, I know. Oh, so much is going on. So, well, uh, Salwa, we'll see you pretty soon in the fall. And then, of course, we'll see um, Eden Salon and Barbershop again. They just opened a new shop on the west side. So, uh, uh, Liz, congratulations on that second location for Eden Salon and Barbershop. And looking forward to their hair and fashion show in the fall. And then uh, we'll see what we can get into later on this year. We've got a full slate uh, for all the shows. And then our fashion brand will be coming online in uh, the next three to six months. So I'm really excited about Black Lion House of Fashion uh, teaming that with uh, the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show. So for everyone here at Big Show Entertainment Network, for Chase Sexton, the director of Cubanch, behind the camera, for Andrew who is our chief engineer of Q Branch. We could not get this done without these guys. You gotta lay that groundwork for the, all the technical stuff for before you can step in front of any camera. And I really appreciate you guys being here tonight. So for Chase, Andrew, Nancy, I'm Super Dave Rains. And until next time, on the love.